This is DIY Mushroom Tech with Chapter 3.3. This is the first video of the Building a Fruiting Chamber Lecture. Hey! My name is Daniel, I am from Germany, and I will be your host. Since this project is multilayered, I decided to take an unusual approach. I produced this video in a way, that it can also be used as a printout. That means you can use it offline, or even use just print some single pages of it. All the design that are shown can also be downloaded. This lecture we will start investigating the Martha. After we move on to the controller, that will be the brain of the Martha. Then we will add some things to be controlled, a ventilation system, humidifier, and some lights. Here you see how the parts play together. The basis at the Martha. Ventilation comes from outside. Controller can be put on the side or on the back. Humidifier will be places within the tent. Here you see the humidifier in a real photo. Illumination consists of LED bars. The basis of the tent is important. You do not want to have any wet spots there. This would be perfect for mold. Let's have a look at a video.
Before we start, I did put a lot of work into this lecture series. I hope you enjoy it. Maybe you want to consider to buy me a coffee? In life there is balance everywhere. Summer and winter, day and night, hot and cold, and so on. It's obviously natural, that taking and giving is also a polarity that needs to be in balance. Only when there is balance can we, as humans, achieve harmony and genuine happiness. That means, if you take something for example from the internet, you should give something back. Please check for yourself if your life is in balance. If you want, you can support me with a donation. That would be great. You can also support any other good project you redeem worth it. Send someone a smile, leave somewhere a nice comment, or just be joyous and spread some love. We will now start with the basis for this project. The Martha Grow Tent. A Martha is a mini greenhouse. You can buy it online. I use one with five floors. I have a green hood. A transparent hood may be a little bit nicer. Remember, always mount your tent. If you grow in your basement, the floor will be much colder than the air. That means, that the water will fall out on the coldest surface. That would be the floor. You would get wet spots there and mold will start to grow. I raise the tent. I use a plastic top from a box. One could also isolate between floor and ground. I decided that I wanted to have proper air circulation. Next you build a casing structure. Old wood and some screws is all what you need. Check, if you Martha can be placed within your box. As you see, the feet of my tent sit on the wood. Then finish the structure. Wrap some plastic around and place the grow tent inside. Here you see my first prototype. Base is very important, because you also do not want any air exchange going from under the casing into your house. For my second tent I used better plastic foil. Rest is the same. Here you see it turned around. Completely closed. Air exchange will come from a ventilation system. Now we have created a great base for the tent. Air exchange is now only as intended, and I have never wet spots on the floor. Next we will have a look at the controller. The controller is the heart of this project. I created a very simple one. No programming is needed. It is very cheap and operates with 12 volt. Of course, you can use as power source 230 or 110 volt. It is all plug and play. You can control humidity, temperature, light, and ventilation with this board. You could also easily grow plants with it in your home. You just need to change the light source to the specific grow light for your plant. We will build it in lecture 3.3.1. Ventilation is essential. The mushroom need fresh air, and you do not want any spores in your home. You only need to cut one hole into the tent. Installation is easy. I design a simple system that uses an waterproof fan. The intake will be filtered with an HEPA filter. It will create an under pressure in your tenant. That means, that the tent will rather suck in some external air than to push air outside of the tent. This for very important, because mushroom spores are really not good for your lungs. The mushrooms also need the correct humidity content in the tent. Here you see the 3D printed humidifier. I always apply two units. That way you have a failure save system. If you use a bigger tent, you could just use more units. As the humidifier sits on an adapter plate, it can be adapted to any tank you want to use. You can very easy clean and refill it. We will build this system in chapter 3.3.3. Only thing no missing in our system at the illumination. I utilized two ways to light my tents up. I used LED strips and lead bars. Both are watertight. 
I prefer the lead bars. As I am no commercial grower, I only light up the stages that I currently use. Illumination draws the most electric power in the setup. We will investigate the illumination in chapter 3.3.4. That's it. That was the presentation of my grow tent. How do you control your environment? Have any better idea than using a Martha? Please share your insights with your community. In the next chapter we will dive into the world of controller, just to simplify it and use a very easy bang bang controller. I hope you will join me. Happy Martha building. Thank you for attending my lecture. Auf Wiedersehen.